In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a simple script that will read and process an image with MATLAB. You'll do the processing with a couple simple functions that resize, stretch, and swirl your image, so you'll need to first download those functions from the course project page in Canvas. Well, the first thing you need to do is download the image functions, image resize and image warp, to a location on your computer where you plan to process your image. I've put mine in a directory named Project 1. Next, you need to save your portrait and in the same directory. Here's the portrait I'll be using. Most digital cameras save their images with the JPEG compression format, so that will most likely be the format for your file. Then you need to run the MATLAB utility and navigate to the directory where you've placed your files. Once you've done that, you could read and process your image by entering a sequence of commands in the MATLAB environment. But you'll be much better off if you store your commands in a MATLAB script like I've done. You can edit your script files with any text editor. MATLAB has a built-in editor that works great, but I'm a bit old-fashioned and use an editor called Emacs. Like I've done here, you should make it a habit to put comments at the top of your scripts to identify the general purpose of the script along with the date you wrote it. In my script, I use the imread function to read the image. Then I use the image resize function to resize the image to 500 pixels in its largest dimension. The imread function is supplied by MATLAB, but the image resize function is the one you need to download from the course's Canvas site. Next, I use the image warp function to stretch and swirl the image. You can learn more about how the image resize and image warp functions work by checking them out in your editor. The next step is to display the images. For each image, I do this by opening a figure, clearing its context, setting its name, displaying the image, and adjusting the axis. The figure, set, image, and axis functions are all part of MATLAB's standard function set. After I display the images, I write them to disk with MATLAB's IamWrite function. Back in the MATLAB environment, I execute all of those functions by typing the script name Project1. The three figures let me see how the images look. Here's the resized image, the stretched image, and the swirled image. I can use the MATLAB command whose to see the size of each of my image variables. Here I can see that the original image had 1024 rows, but the processed images all have 500. Finally, I verify that the three image files are in my Project 1 directory. At this point, my project is complete and I can upload my results to the course page. Good luck with your project.